Hey, what's good, everyone? Chris from Blu-ray Critic. I uh, thought I'd show you guys what I picked up from uh, some of the leftover stuff that I received from Black Friday along with Cyber Monday. So I got a couple releases here from uh, Barnes & Noble's 50% off sale for uh, Criterion titles, one of which, of course, is uh, One Night Jacks, directed by Marlon Brando, the one and only film directed by Brando. Uh, really great uh, Western classic film. Uh, I saw this one uh, back on... Uh, you know, DVD a long time ago it was like a really horrible transfer, but I'm looking forward to checking this out on, uh, you know, the Criterion's release. I heard it's fantastic, so pretty cool treat on that. Also, uh, one of the best performances from Adam Sandler, and that is Punch Drunk Love, because, you know, he's known for these slapstick comedies, uh, which I tend to enjoy. I love slapstick comedies every now and then, but uh, this is definitely the best film of his career as far as performance and story. And it's uh, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. So, uh, yeah, glad to finally pick that up from uh, Criterion as well. I also picked up American Gothic Season 1. And uh, if you're into uh, murder mysteries, definitely check this one out. It's a 13-part series about this uh, Boston family. And you get a decent amount of special features. You get extended Elliot scenes, American Gothic First Look, American Gothic at Comic-Con, and also the Gag Rail. Also, uh, Amazon had a uh, deal of the day for uh, The Hobbit, the extended edition uh for about i think it was like 39 dollars which it sold out in rather like i don't know five or six hours or whatnot but uh, glad to finally pick this up and that uh, completes my lord of the rings hobbit collection uh this does not include a 3d but it's pretty cool it has the digital hd codes along with it but um yeah man just looking forward to diving in i haven't actually seen the extended cuts i went and saw the theatrical cuts when i was in theaters but yeah so this is gonna be a fun treat also picked up Children of Divorce with Clara Bow and uh, Gary Cooper, silent film from 1927, the early days of Hollywood. And I did a full review on this one. Uh, it has a really beautiful 4K restoration. And uh, the print was used from the uh, Library of Congress uh, Master, along with this other print from 1969. And uh, it just looks spectacular. I highly recommend this one, guys. If you're into silent films, definitely worth picking up. And uh, it's released by Flickr Alley. I also picked up the Lethal Weapon Collection from Amazon. This was like one of those Cyber Monday deals. I think it was like $13 and change. Can't go wrong for all four films in this uh, nice set. Pretty uh, compact. But uh, always loved uh, one and two. And uh, three or four, you know, they're just uh, fun popcorn action flicks nonetheless. But happy to own this one. I also picked up the Bad Boys 1 and 2 collection, the 20th anniversary edition for uh, the first film. Uh, actually, it came out in 1995, so that's 21 years now. But this also includes the uh, digital HD code for both films and a ton of great uh, special features and whatnot. And I heard they're going to make uh, the third film as well, and uh, it's pretty cool they're both returning for that. But it's not going to be directed by Michael Bay, and the film title is going to be, I think, like bad boys for life i know it's a cheesy title but uh definitely looking forward to uh the return of the boys on that one i also ended up getting pulp fiction and mainly for the uh, digital hd code because i had the uh, previous edition on blu-ray so so that'll be cool to add that to my digital library and finally a brooklyn which i've never seen but uh i heard it got great reviews and it was nominated for a bunch of oscars uh you know last year so i uh, looking forward to that one so anyhow, guys, thought I'd show you guys what I picked up really quick uh, for some of the uh, deals that were going on from either uh, Amazon and Best Buy and whatnot. So uh, thanks for taking a look, and I'll see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.